Welcome to Quant Minds International. I'm Jessica James, and I've got the pleasure of interviewing Carol Alexander. Carol, I really enjoyed your talk today, and I know that everybody else did as well. I wanted to ask you just a couple of questions. Um, Bitix, and as you explained, this is a volatility index similar to the VIX on equities, but this, is, of course, is for, for, for Bitcoin. Um, what would you use this for? Well, um, just as the VIX is the fair value for a variant swap, um, which of course isn't used to price variant swaps because they're traded over the counter and there's a market price, uh, over the counter market price. Um, but uh, the VIX index, once you've got an index on anything like rainfall or whatever, then you can have exchange traded products like futures. Or, and once you've got futures, then you can have derivative products on those futures that are rolled out to the retail investors like the VXX exchange traded notes and the other exchange traded funds that are based on fixed futures. And given that the proliferation of assets in the digital space is continuing so rapidly, I expect that um, I'll get in touch with Deribit, the um, only exchange that actually trades options and where we've been scraping the data to, to construct the BitEx and um, suggest that they start looking at futures on, on, on BitEx. It's called BitEx rather than BIX because there's already an index called BIX, which is the bunker index. And anyway, they also do options on Ethereum. And so when we're constructing that now, we're going to call it ethics. Of course. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I love it. Um, but that brings me on to the second question, actually, data. I mean, so many people want to analyze the cryptos now. Mm. And there's quite a lot of free data, you, uh, high frequency free, free data one can yeah. download it. Loads, loads. How, but how do you choose which one? Because, you know, unless you've studied it, it's, it's very hard to know where the quality is or where the quality isn't. Well, that's right. You know, I'm. I did a survey with my PhD student, Michael Dacos, who's working in this area with me, um, of all the papers published in the last two and a bit years, um, and on discussion paper sites like SSRN, and found that well more than half of them either used wrong data, Seriously? or they, yeah, or they used, they didn't realize, but they were using non-traded prices for things like trading strategies or arbitrage, or they didn't realize the synchroneity is a problem with, you know, these, these closing prices are midnight UTC, whereas it's not Chicago time. But the main thing we found was that the CoinGecko data have got some error that we need, you need to correct if you use that data. But anyway, I mean, we always think crypto compare data are by far the best because they're only 40 um, non-volume uh, inferred in their VWAP price, okay. whereas yes, yes, CoinGecko yes. and you know, many others, they use like 400 cross rates and they try and get a VWAP from cross rates, which, yes, which yes, doesn't work. Yes. Um, I mean, it, it's quite remarkable that data of a frequency, um, you know, mul multiple um, uh, data points per second is several hours off. I do find that hard to believe. Well, I think they've just got a back office error. We did inform them, but anyway, I'm sure <laughs> after this it'll be correct, <laughs> one would hope. But all the papers published on that data are going to have wrong results. Well, of course. And um, the Crix yes, index yes, as well, yes, that's wrong yes, yes. because it's based on that data. So, it's and knock-on effect. Yes, yeah, so you have yes. to be very careful. Um, anyway, read the paper, it's on SSRN and it tells you uh, also different exchanges, um, some data, although exchange arbitrage is basically non-existent now, so it doesn't really matter it, yes. at daily level or at 10 minute level, doesn't matter which exchange data you use. But if you go really, really ultra high frequency, there's still, there might still this be is where the scalpers are, they're yes. bots on the exchanges. Yes. Yes. I was just talking yes. to a couple of bots after the talk, they came and introduced themselves to me saying, we're the bots. <laughs> oh, excellent, <laughs> excellent, I like it. Um, so there's, there's quite a few competing cryptos now, and you know, you hear of new launches now and then too. What do you think the future is going to hold? Oh gosh, it's really difficult. I mean, 2008 was the year of the ICO, the yeah. initial coin offering, and then it all flopped. And basically, yeah. Yeah. everything is being driven by manipulation by Tether through Bitfinex, even at the moment. Although, I mean, we've also got, we've got a lot of things going on in the Bitcoin yeah. price right now, which is surging as we speak, and Ether's doubled in values in the last few days. Um, some people say it's fundamentals, like um, uh, institutional investors, other people say that it's fueled by um, the problem with uh, U.S. stocks, so it's like a safe haven. Um, but to be honest, I'm, I still think that just as the last boom, which went up from 3,500 to 
20,000 in, in a couple of months. Um, that was all because of printing Tether, and Tether, you know, is, is not one, it's not really a stable coin. And you just have to look at the news for any number of items about what's happening with Bitfinex and Tether. They're all the same people. Um, to real, and then Bitfinex started trading the Tether margin. So you need one Tether, you get $10, and you use those $10 to buy Bitcoin. And then, of course, you want to diversify, so you buy Ether and Ripple and so forth. Um, I, until this stops, yes. and there's proper regulation. I mean, Coinbase is fine. It's, 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 it's the closest to being regulated. Crypto Compare, both London. <laughs> of course, quite. <crying. laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, well, you know, the, did you see the... the um, the Tech Nation report yesterday about London being the, 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 the center of all the, all the fintech oh, startups everywhere. That's you know, so nice it? to have some good news for London. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Carol. That, that was brilliant. And, and as I said, I so, so enjoyed your talk today. Thank you, Jessica. I learned a lot.